2 to the power 3x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 2. We have to find the solution for x and remember that only real solution we have to find. So this makes it somewhat easy. We have to find only real solution. Now 2 to the power 3x, this is also we can write it as 2 to the power 3 times x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 2. Now when a raised to the power m times n, this we can write it as a raised to the power m whole raised to the power n also as a raised to the power n whole raised to the power m. So this we can write it as 2 raised to the power x whole raised to the power of 3 plus 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2. Now let us consider 2 to the power x is equal to m. In that case we have m cube plus m is equal to 2 or we can write it m cube plus m minus 2 is equal to 0 or m cube plus m we can write it as minus m plus 2m then minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can take here m common and write m square minus 1 plus here 2 common and write m minus 1 is equal to 0 or m this m square minus 1 it is in the form of a square minus b square if we write 1 as 1 square and this is equal to a plus b times a minus b so this we can write it as m times m plus 1 times m minus 1 plus 2 times m minus 1 is equal to 0. Now here m minus 1 is common. So let's take here as common factor m minus 1. And the remaining factors are m times m plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0. Or we have m minus 1 then times m square plus m plus 2 is equal to 0. Now when a times b is equal to 0 then either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. That means when m minus 1 is equal to 0, m is equal to 1. When m square plus m plus 2 is equal to 0. Now in this quadratic equation, we can find whether we have a real solution or not if the discriminant b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0, we have a real solution. Where here a is the coefficient of m square that is 1, b is coefficient of m that is 1 and c here is this 2. So b square will be 1 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 2. So it is 1 minus 8 that is equal to minus 7 which is less than 0. Therefore we have no real solution. And we have to find only real solution. Now we consider 2 to the power x is equal to m. And m here is 1. Now instead of 1 here we can write 2 to the power 0. Why? Because a to the power 0 the value is 1. So instead of 1 we can write a to the power 0. So for instead of 1 we can write 2 to the power 0. Now when a raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power n and a is not equal to 0 or 1, here a is 2, then m is equal to n. That means x is equal to 0. So this is the solution that we have. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.